For good ideas and true innovation, you need human interaction, conflict, argument, and debate. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kenya's number one debate platform. This is the Great Debaters Contest, and I am your host, Chris Boru. And I am Esperanza Kapanga. The motion of the day today is, a good healthcare system is the backbone for any economy. Is it or is it not? Proposing this motion, we have Kwandanze Secondary School. Going against them, we have Moani Girls High School. Proposal number one, you have three minutes. Wow, to the panel of judges, um, the students, ladies and gentlemen, before you is Gloria Musioka from Kwandanze Secondary School, and I'm here to propose our motion today that a good healthcare system is the backbone of a strong economy. Well, we can all agree that cancer right now is a killer disease. Right now, cancer has been rated higher than even HIV and AIDS. And we can also agree that South Africa is the leading country in cancer treatment. When we go to South Africa, well, we can say that South Africa is gaining a lot of money because other countries in Africa are looking upon South Africa for the care, of, for the care and the treatment of cancer. You can just imagine the kind of cash that South Africa is bringing in for itself. South Africa, we can admit that it is gaining a lot of money. And well, let me remind you that a good healthcare system is the provision of healthcare services in the most reliable way to its citizens. As Kenyans or as a country, we call when what what will qualify our country? to provide a good healthcare system. It is when all of us will have a chance to get good healthcare, uh, to get good healthcare services. All of us will be able to get the good healthcare uh, services from our hospitals. And what is a strong economy? It is where the country provides at least the basic needs of its citizens, whereby every citizen is provided, you know, food, Shelter, we know the basic needs, we know them. Now, South Africa is leading. Right now, it is one of the most developed countries in Africa. Why? Because it is leading in the care of and treatment of cancer. They have a good healthcare system. We cannot even compare South Africa to Kenya, can we? To my opposers. I don't know why you are sitting there confidently opposing that a good healthcare system, you know, is a strong, it's a strong backbone. We all admit, because if it was not for a good healthcare system, we wouldn't even be here today. Just imagine, put yourself in this situation. All of us are sick. How could this, you know, this program, how would it run? We have to be healthy for a good economic system. We have to be healthy for our country to grow. Africa is relying on South Africa. The only country we can, you know, we can boast about, we can boast with as a good, you know, a, a country with a good healthcare system. South Africa is a good country. Why? It is developing. It is, it is a developed country. We cannot even compare it to Kenya because they have a good healthcare system. And you can just imagine the kind of cash these people are taking in for themselves. So, to my fellow uh, friends, their opposers, will you just, just be serious and, you know, cross the bridge and join us and agree that a good healthcare system is the backbone of a strong economy. Thank you. Pastor Puza, you have three minutes to make a statement. A good healthcare system is the organization of people's institutions and resources that deliver healthcare services to meet the health needs of, uh, of the tar targeted population. Let's look at industrialization. Oh, by the way, I am Masli Nyaranda from Moani Girls High School. Let's look at industrialization. Japan is one of the most growing uh, industries, uh, countries in Africa. Why? Because they are relying on uh, their backbone as industrializations. What do we say here in Kenya and other parts? That one minute wasted in Kenya is a car made in Japan. What do you think could happen if we could use that uh, uh, one minute to process or manufacture a product in Kenya? Where do you think our economy will be? Agriculture. K 
Kenya relies mostly on agriculture, but then what we do is give out our raw materials. <laughs> Sometimes I really get a uh, wonder why we Kenyans give out our tea. We are very famous, aren't we, giving our tea and coffee to other countries without depleting them, you know? Then when we are going to buy from them, they sell at high prices, and this leading to the decrease of our economy. Mining. Who doesn't know that Kenya is uh, blessed with uh, mining areas, exploitation areas? We have Trukana right here, which we find that there is oil in uh, uh, Trukana. But what are we doing? The expatriates are coming and exploiting the oil, and, what, and our people are not benefiting much from it. We have Nigeria. Its uh, main backbone is uh, mining. It is one of the leading, actually it's a leading uh, producer of oil. Zanzibar, it uh, exports, um, it exports the cloves, and also South Africa, which is a very good in economy, which is supporting its, its economy in mining. It, it extracts gold, processes it, and exports it to the other nations. My dear judges, my fellow opponents, and you, audience, this is our economy. As you can see it, it's very nice, presentable, and we are proud of it because it is a Kenyan's production. What will happen if you guys, you guys of my fellow proposers are saying that a good healthcare system is the backbone of our economy? I say that you may have the help people in your, eco in, in your country, but they are lazy. I repeat, lazy. Then what is the function of it? If you take that, um, if you take that uh, a good healthcare system is the backbone of our economy, my fellow judges, opponents, and audience, this is what is going to happen to our country. It is going to deteriorate like this and perish like this. Are you ready to see it perishing like that? Oh no, Masli Nyaranda representing Mwani Girls, the school. Second proposal, you have three minutes for a rebuttal. To the judges, ladies and gentlemen, I am Amina Kimeu from Kwandanze, hereby proposing the motion that a good healthcare system is the backbone of a strong economy. To the opposers, you are talking of industrialization here in Japan. How can that industrialization, or how can you be producing good products if you don't have a good healthcare system? Can you look to a situation where the managerial system or the person who is managing this agricultural product is not healthy or is sick. And again, let us look to a situation where our president or any other prominent leader in our country is sick. How are the things going to be held? Again, let us look to a country such as Cuba. Can we compare the economy of Cuba and the economy of many other African countries like Kenya? In real sense, when we look to Cuba, Cuba has a strong economy. Why? Because in Cuba, it has gone to an extent where even most of our African, African countries, such as Kenya, they are trusting these Cuban doctors that they go to an extra mile and hire expatriates from Cuba and come to our country. Let us, for, let us say, for example, if these expatriates are not been hired to come in our country. That money that they have been given, it can, it can be used to boost in other sectors. For example, when we say in agriculture, in agriculture, yes. If this money that is used to hire expatriates from Cuba to come in our country, it is put in the sector of agriculture, it will boost our economy. So what am I saying? I'm trying, say, I'm trying to say that a good healthcare system it is the backbone of a strong economy. Again, let us look to a country such as Japan. Japan. When we look at Japan, Japan it has, it has a very good healthcare system. Compare Japan with Kenya. Compare Japan with Kenya. Which country between these two countries it has the most strong economy? Why is Japan developing? Because they have a strong because they have a strong healthcare system. 
So what am I trying to say to my honorable judges and to my fellow opposers and anybody in the hall? What am I trying to put in your mind? Kenyans, our leaders, let us think abroad. Let us come out from this box of thinking of other sectors without, instead of thinking about health. Health, what is health? We have, to, we have to boost our health system in order to have a strong economy. I am Amina from Kwandanze. Thank you. Second opposer, you have three minutes for a rebuttal. A good health care system. Fine. Fine. But the real question here is, is it enough? Is it enough to take our country to the next level? My opponents here say that healthcare is the backbone of our economy. Like the first opponent, first opponent mentioned about cancer treatment in South Africa. But I'm afraid she forgot to mention that in, in South Africa, cancer treatment is majorly based on the technology developed in South Africa. So I think what she was trying to convey to you is that technology is the backbone to any economy in, in any country. Technology as the backbone of any economy. Let's take, for example, the event we are having right now here, courtesy of Safaricom. Currently, information technology is one of the thriving sectors of our economy. Isn't that true, my audience? Is it? It is true, it's one of the most thriving economic sector in our country. So I strongly propose that technology is the backbone of our country, on, of, any economy's country of any country's economy. Another thing, let's talk about security. Security is the backbone of our country's economy. When we have the Kenya Wildlife Service taking care of our wildlife, when we have the Kenya Forest Service taking care of our forest, imagine our forest being protected. We will be able to save the water catchment areas. And do you know, these water catchment areas, they preserve our rivers. And when our rivers are preserved, we are able to maintain a good water flow in our country. This water can be used in production, in production of energy. It can also be used in industries. And when we increase production in our country, definitely we are increasing, if, if, not, the country's economy, if not the country's income, the individual's income. And when we increase the individual's income, we are automatically increasing the national income, leading to the upgrade of our economy, my dear people. Another thing when we generalize security, when our country is protected, but talk about the Kenya Navy, Kenya Army, Kenya Air Force, we will be able to be secure. We'll be able to feel comfortable in the environment we're working in. Let's take, for example, Israel. Israel is surrounded by many hostile hostile countries, but because of their good security system, this country is able to stand with the name Israel. If, there was, if they didn't have that kind of a security system, wouldn't we even, will, will we be even hearing of Israel as a country right now? But look, their economy is thriving all because of security. Another thing, financial services. Now we are able to get loans from banks. We are able to get our properties insured. If, for example, a country did not get, if, uh, for example, people will not be able to be provided loans. Loans, these loans are very useful to our people. Small business people take loans from banks and they use it to generate income. They do use it in generating income. And when they use it in gener generating income, the level of national income is increased, leading to an increase in an economy. So my dear opponents, as you can see, my body size is not too big. My chair is not that small. You can simply cross over and join us and see Say we should not majorly we should not majorly focus on healthcare, but we have other things to focus on. Thank you.
The proposals have been asked, is it that the countries that have a better economy than Kenya have healthier populations than the Kenyan population? And the opposers have been asked, since they're speaking of focusing on industrial revolution, what happens if the population working in the industries fall sick? <laughs> Proposal number three, you have three minutes to answer the question. Daniel Mugambi, Kwandanze Secondary School. Hereby, to propose the motion that state a uh, good economy is the backbone of any economy. To answer the question uh, asked by the beautiful lady from Muthale, uh, we can, uh, yes, I'm proud to be a Kenyan, that uh, we have good health care in our Kenya. We have a stand in Kenya, but we can't compare to countries like Japan. We can't compare to, South, uh, like, to countries like South Africa. Let us be realistic. Kenya, yes, I'm proud to be Kenyan. We have some health, uh, we have a good health care system, but to some extent, to some level. So let us look at those countries that have a high, uh, a high population of good health, which will make them to develop in industry, as the opposers say, it, to develop in banking system, to develop in security, to develop in technology. Let us be realistic. We need good health care systems. Compare the health care, the, the population of the healthy people in Kenya and the healthy people in, German, in Germany, in countries like Japan. Let's be serious. Germany and other countries like Japan are the ones leading uh, in different areas, in technology, in fishing, in different sectors, thanks to the backbone of any economy, good health care system. We can't do without this. Let's be realistic. We can't do without a good, real, a good healthcare system. You have heard a lot of uh, a healthcare system uh, in different areas, in different countries. So we have to develop them. We have to develop them so that you can get to stand well, so that you can get to uh, raise other economics. Uh, I think we are in a misunderstanding of what means by the backbone of, an, of any economy. Yes, we, we know that, we know that uh, technology is the one who is supporting a healthcare system, a good healthcare system. We know that agriculture is the one supporting a good, a good economy. We know that security is there to secure us so that you can get to invest, so that you can get to, into, to uh, indulge in entrepreneurship. But all this falls on the backbone of a good healthcare system. All this depends on the backbone of a good healthcare system. So let us understand this motion. It's all about being the backbone. We can't say that technology is the backbone. Backbone means that something that supports the rest. Good healthcare system is the one supporting technology. Good, care, good healthcare system is the one which is supporting agriculture. So let's be realistic. Let's come back to our senses. We can't do without good healthcare system. Thank you. Third opposer, you have three minutes to respond. It seems like your questions all require very short answers. First, let me answer your question with a question. How can technology depend on good healthcare system? That's something realistic. Good healthcare system depends on technology. A system is a technology, it's technologized, okay? So you base your good healthcare system on our technology. Then you misunderstood my fellow girl there. Well, she didn't say that we are not considering the healthcare system. She just said we don't majorly depend on the healthcare system. It has to be there. We have to have hospitals in our countries. We have to have everything in our countries. So our point is, it is not the major thing. Well, the others can follow. We are basing on trade, on good governance and the others. Then the healthcare system can follow. Now, you're basing your arguments on Japan. Japan is greatly increasing the economy due to industrialization, not the good healthcare system. Again, not everyone can be sick. Not everyone can be sick. And the good healthcare system is there. It's just not majorly considered. Japan is 
developing because of industrialization. South Africa, on the other hand, is developing because of gold mining. It is providing the economy. Now, allow me to major on my points, that is good governance. Good governance depends on integrity, anti-corruption. Let's, for example, take our country as the major thing here, the NYS saga. Recently, we have the nine billion shillings of our Kenyan economy. They got lost through the NYS. Why? Because of lack of good governance. If we have good governance in our country, we can be sure that we manage our funds well. We manage our funds with integrity and we go to the next level of our economy. Second, trade. This time I would like to geographically and psychologically fly you to the countries like South Africa, Brazil, India. These countries are all underdeveloped just like us. But now they have emerging economies. Why? They, can, they qualify themselves with trade. They are aggressive in trading, which has led them to have the G20 summit. They are now in the G20 summit, able to even con inter intercorrelate with the other countries of the G8, the USA, the Germany, and the rest. As you can see, based on my points, healthcare systems are falling all over. Let's, for example, take Kenya, a very good example. Kenya, there are scandals. The strikes are there, the wrong operations, the poor cannot even access the quality healthcare. Same to the great world countries, like USA. The former president came up with the Obama Care, the one that was supposed to offer universal healthcare system for all Americans. But the current president doesn't support that, so it's still low. But still, even if the universal health care system is down, they are still up. They are still among the great eight countries. So, Joan Matata representing Moani Girls. Thank you. Proposition, you have one minute for final submission. Well, well, well. Uh, let's take a look at economy. Let us take a look at the word backbone. Yes, we have technology. We depend, uh, healthcare system depends on technology. But again, uh, system doesn't only depend on technology, but health system, is, it goes to as far as NHIF in Kenya, an example to give. We can talk of a system of how uh, a country is handling their, their population in creating good health for them. We can talk of uh, how Kenya is trying to uh, import other expatriates from Cuba so that it can get to develop a good healthcare system. We can talk of Kenya trying to uh, support its good healthcare system and making it stronger so that you, cannot, uh, you can stop going to other countries like India for brain therapy going to other countries like South Africa for cancer treatment. Can we have the, our doctors of our own? Can we have a good system of our own so that we can get to deal uh, with this health, health thing? Thank you. Opposition, you have one minute for a final submission. Our proposers have mentioned to us only three countries that are developing due to healthcare system. We have the G20s, the USA, the Italy, the Canada, the Germany, the Brazil, the India. Those are but to mention the less. Then they depend on the other factors like trade, industrialization. This is a proof that you cannot consider healthcare system as the backbone of our economy. It can follow after the rest. As many as are for this opinion, you can say, I, I. I urge you to kindly please cross over and join these big seats with very small bodies and kindly, strongly oppose this motion that says a good healthcare system is the backbone of any economy. Thank you. Kwandanze, you are good people. You are composed on stage. You have good use of rhetorical questions. That is Amina Kimeu. You, are, uh, you have done good rebuttals. Just add some passion to your presentation. Daniel Mugambi, you started on a low note, but you really caught up and you made your motion move quite well towards the end of it, and that was very good. 
Mwani Girls High School, I was impressed by your argument. Maslin Nyaranda, good introduction. You, def you defined basic concept in your motion. Then you had also good mastery of your content. You gave other sectors that consider, are considered as backbones of the economy, which was good. And then Helen Charlo, you had passion and conviction. You're one of the, you know, I found you as one of the powerful speakers on the floor today. And then uh, good cross-examination skills good style and presentation. You engaged your audience throughout. I actually was captured and so I wasn't even writing much. I was looking at you throughout. Joan Matata, you offered a good rebuttal to the opponent, which was good. And then you, el you also had good style and presentation of engaging your audience. Thank you. And the judges awarded Kwandanze Secondary School, being their first time on the Great Debates Contest, 67%. Let's appreciate them with a round of applause. <laughs> Moni Girls High School were awarded 72%, making them the winners of this debate. <laughs> Congratulations to both teams. A job well done. We'd like them to remember that losing the battle today does not necessarily mean losing the war altogether. That's it from us at the Great Debaters Contest. Remember to keep the conversations going on. Hashtag GDC for SDGs. Thank you to our sponsors, Blaze by Safaricom and Brand Kenya Board. That's it for today. I have been your host, Esperanza Kapanga. And I am Chris Buru. Until next time, stay tuned.